So I don't know how many people have heard of this whole SB2 or whatever the hell it's called going on in California where they're trying to ban concealed carry in certain places. It's blocked a California law that would have banned carrying firearms in public places. The law was due to take effect January 1st. It would have prohibited people from carrying concealed guns in 26 mostly public places. That includes parks and playgrounds, churches, banks, and zoos. I just have one thing to say about that. It's already very hard to get a concealed carry permit in California. Not that anybody really gives a f about having a concealed carry permit in order to be able to defend themselves in public, but it's still very hard to get it. You have to go through a background check, you wait a long time, you pretty much have to give them the birthright to your first son to get one. And you're worried about these people carrying them in certain places? So you have zero trust, like none, like no trust in your people. This is communism. This is a dictatorship. This is Governor Newsom being like, you know what? I'm the only trustworthy person in this state, okay? So all of you guys can just catch a boat to fuck off. Governor, why don't you just go join your buddies in China? I mean, you cleaned up everything in San Francisco when they came out to see you and have a tea party or some sake or... Folks say, oh, they're just cleaning up this place because all those fancy leaders are coming into town. Um, that's true because it's true. I'm about to show you how stupid this is, okay, Governor? A couple of days ago, there was a couple of armed teens, teenagers, okay, that decided to try to rob a guy in California. It was in Pomona. So let me just go through the facts here for you, Governor. In California, due to current gun laws, which are unconstitutional, you can't buy a handgun unless you're 21. In California, I believe there is a 30-day waiting period if you buy a gun in general. That's a month. That is one month that you're like, you know what? You better hit someone over the head with some pliers or a hammer if you're looking for something for self-defense because you're gonna wait 30 days while I twiddle my thumbs. I'm sure they have a bunch more. I know there's still a background check and whatever else. And now you have this, well, if you went through the extra process to get a concealed carry permit, you you shouldn't be able to carry in these sensitive places. Um, so then how do you explain this? Elements in a terrifying armed robbery that was caught on camera. You saw this yesterday. Two teens now under arrest for violently attacking Eduardo Reyes and his wife in Pomona while the couple was trying to steal an iPad. The entire incident was captured on Reyes's Tesla. Oh, Governor, you can't explain this, can you? Oh, well, it's just a one-off. I mean, we can't control everyone. Those are probably your thoughts, right, Governor? Well, those are our thoughts on gun control in these shootings that happen in America. It's a one-off from a crazy person that we can't control. Does that mean everybody's rights need to be taken away? Does that mean everybody's rights need to be restricted? Or does that mean that you just understand that humans are humans and that if you take away the taboo of all of this crap going on, it will stop. Now, the other side to this is if you're this dude being attacked by these people, what do you do, especially in a place like California? I see a bunch of people online saying, well, oh, dude, I'd be good if I shot him. I've got concealed carry insurance. Guess what? Concealed carry insurance, they don't cover sensitive places. It's in a lot of their contracts. You have to be lawfully carrying the gun. Wow, so you're providing insurance for the Second Amendment community, but you don't believe in the Second Amendment yourself because the Second Amendment doesn't have sensitive places that you can carry. That's why I am so proud to say that I have partnered with Attorneys on Retainer. The difference between them and an insurance when it comes to self-defense shootings is they aren't bound by the law to have all of these different exclusions that really end up screwing you and that give the these insurance companies an ejector handle to get out of covering you. This would be one of them. Sensitive places. Are you lawfully allowed to carry the gun? Attorneys on retainer, they don't care. The only thing that attorneys on retainer care about is that they can reasonably argue 
self-defense. If you go into a bank and you just shoot a bunch of people and steal money, it's not reasonable. But being in a situation like this, absolutely. You're scared for your life. You're trying to protect your girlfriend, your wife, whoever it may be. So Attorneys on Retainer has bail coverage. They cover misdemeanors. They cover felonies. They cover you all the way through trial. And no, if you lose or you take a plea deal, they're not asking for their money back like a lot of these other insurance-based self-defense coverage have in their contract. And the founder of AOR, Mark J. Victor, great guy. He's a Marine and he truly believes in freedom. This is by far the best self-defense coverage on the market. And in my opinion, it should be way, way more than what they're charging for it. So we're giving you $50 off when you sign up. There's a link below the video. Go make sure you're protected and do not trust an insurance company with this stuff. Trust attorneys on retainer. So I guess all that being said, when it comes to stuff like this, uh, Governor Newsom, what do you have to say in regards to this? I mean, do you have any response when stuff like this happens? Because you guys talk so confidently about gun control that it works. How do you explain these things? Let me explain the response that you guys are probably gonna orchestrate for this. Well, it most likely was a parent who didn't lock their guns up safely. How about this? How about you guys start realizing that human behavior, you will never be able to control it. Unless somehow you figure out a way to lock us up all in cages, you're never going to be able to control it. If somebody wants to do something like this, they're gonna do it. And that's the end of it. There is no other way around it. And it doesn't matter if you implement gun control, it doesn't matter if you ban all guns, it doesn't matter if guns disappear and there are no more guns. People are gonna go to the next best thing because the problem is in here. It's not the tool. The tool is a facilitator. There's a hammer, there's a knife, there's machetes, there's flamethrowers. There's a million different things that people can use to do something like this. Start being realistic about the truth behind our second amendment. Start being realistic about it because the more and more you talk, people on your side, they're starting to see the holes in it. Why do you think they're trying to take Trump off of ballots? Because they know how many people voted for Joe Biden that are tired of all of this crap.